Hey guys, how's it going? For today, I will be talking about a game that I was addicted to as a kid, forgot all about, played it again just a few years ago. And I bet you're wondering what that is, and I will tell you. Just as soon as I get the footage for that I need for the video. I'll see y'all peeps in about an hour! Just kidding. So the game that I'm talking about is the Henry Stickman series. I guess that wouldn't really be a game then, would it? Hmm. Anyway, the first game in the Henry Stickman series, Breaking Into the Bank, is lame. Don't play it. However, the sequel, Escaping from the prison is much better. First off, there's multiple ways to win, and second, the people actually have hands. It's amazing. My personal favorite way to win is using our old friend Phoenix Wright. <sighs> On the... the... the thing. On the thing. You select the you select the cell phone and you call Phoenix Wright up to do a case. You do the case and you get to hear Phoenix Wright accuse the witness in a very epic battle of words. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored man, but suddenly spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Take that! Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now, you guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! GET WRECKED! The next game, Stealing the Diamond, is actually really good. Um, there, in this one, there's, again, only three ways to win, but they actually have, and they actually have pretty good music for the endings. The first way is the epic way, and it is epic. At one point, you're huge and everybody's shooting you in the face and it's great, and then the chaos dudes are gonna sh send a giant robot to kill you, and you do what every sane person would do, run away as dramatically as possible. It's great. And then you get the diamonds and you get epic music in the background. Then the then there's the aggressive way. And it's very aggressive. In that way you you just blast in, steal the diamond, and try to bribe a few guards. But it doesn't work. Bribery is a federal offense, sir. Ouch. 
And then there's the undetected way, and that one's kind of fun. I like the epic way better, though. NEXT! <clears throat> Infiltrating the airship is really fun. First, you get a burst in flames for absolutely no reason. Second, there's now five endings. And third, Charles. Okay, uh, let me just uh, teleport this thing in here for you. Yeah! I have this thing here that can manipulate gravity. Should be able to get you to float across. Let me just wait. Here I come. Da, 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 da. All right, get to bring out the big guns. Hey, yeah, you should be good to go now. All right, uh, hacked into their security system. Should be able to open the door from here. Wow, this guy really is a moron. Can't believe he does not open a door. Whoops. Oh man, that duck just flew right into the propeller. Oh, what a mess. Fleeing the complex is too big of a game to be put into words. And so, as any good YouTuber would do, I will just show you how great this game is. Where are you going? What? Hey, Hi. he's back! Wait. Ooh, I got the perfect plan. This is the greatest plan! Just jump off the edge. Wait, was that the plan? Man, we really should have coordinated that better. I mean, I was not prepared at all. I ended up buffing up my guys and doing... Buffing up my guys and doing... Was that the convict? Uh, yeah, I think so. What are we supposed to do when someone tries to escape again? Uh, I think shoot him. Ah, yes, that sounds right. I ended up buffing up my guys and... Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> that was totally you. You what? Don't you accuse me. Come on, just admit it. It wasn't me. <laughs> Ow. Uh oh. Never. You win. Perfect. <laughs> what? You think that will upset me? Oh, very much. Thanks. I guess. No, let's get out of here. Hey, you want to trade arts? Those look so nice. Frosty's escaping! Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed Henry Stickman, uh, I'm 
comment below and like this video if you want me to actually play through an entire level of the complex. There should be a subscribe thing right here next to my face and then a couple more videos here or something. Editing!